Hello and welcome to another Factorio tutorial. I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me today. And uh, in this one, we are going to cover uh, the benefits of using productivity modules in a rocket silo opposed to not using them. So this is not only a tutorial, it's also kind of just a PSA because I think a lot of people, especially newer players, even some intermediate players, uh, don't know uh, about putting productivity models in a rocket silo or even if they do, um, you, you know, maybe you don't know the benefits of it. I didn't for a long time. And I see a lot of posts on the Reddit and the forums with people, you know, asking about it or seeing someone else do it and then being like blown away that you can do it and how much it helps. So I want to cover that with you. Uh, so I have a silo here that I have cut power from because it's almost done and I just want to kind of be able to show you guys it finishing. Um, and in this example, we have no productivity modules in here. Uh, we have speed beaconed it just for the sake of making it go faster. Uh, if you do put prod modules in it and, and a rock silo, which again, highly recommend. Uh, I really do suggest speed beaconing it like this for sure because um, it's going to slow it down. Now, before I actually um, go into this a little more, I want to just quickly give a, a very um, fast uh, description and a little tutorial on productivity modules and how they work and what they do because you may not know. Um, so productivity modules are a thing that you can put into uh, buildings. You cannot put them in beacons. Um, and you can put them in buildings to kind of give like extra progress towards a recipe um, without actually taking the materials from it. It'll make more sense when I discuss it more and show it. Um, now, the other main limitation of these, besides not being able to be inserted into beacons, is they only work on intermediate products or things that like consume intermediate products. Um, well, that's not necessarily true, but like the rocket silo, for example, consumes these. Um, the rocket parts, I guess, are considered intermediate products, even though they're not in here. Uh, but, you know, you can use pro prod modules on science packs. You can use them on smelting, oil production here. Um, but, for example, you cannot use them um, in a machine that's making inserters or a machine that's making robots or something like that. So it's limited to things basically in this tab here. Um, and how this works is they have some benefits and obviously benefits, but then also a fair few... Um, negative effects and this this is worth taking into consideration so we're going to just discuss the prod threes right now um, because that is what I would definitely suggest putting in a silo you can put lower level ones they just won't be nearly as effective but they will help if you can't afford these um, what a lot of people will do actually is just build four of these needed to put in a silo and then just call it done with those and you know like they don't necessarily need to mass produce these um, but let's look at these really quick so they increase the energy consumption of the machine you put them in. You can see down there at the bottom, energy consumption plus 80%, and this is per module. Um, they decrease the speed of the machine um, by 15%, and they increase the pollution outputs. So all these are worth considering, uh, particularly the power consumption and the speed. Uh, but then it gives, the level 3 gives 10% productivity. So in the case of a silo where you can put 4 in them, there's a there's four model slots here that gives you a total of 40 percent productivity uh now there's a couple ways you can look at this you know whatever just is is, is uh the most e the easiest to understand um basically you know for every production cycle you're getting 40 percent of another production cycle for free in this case or 10 percent per module um or you could look at it as if you're using like 40 percent less ingredients i suppose um, it, it'll make more sense once you see it, but this just basically gives you free progress towards um, production without actually taking materials for it. Okay, so this setup, I've not put prod models in here again, because um, I want to show you without them. So we're going to lay this down here. Um, this is just from the editor, the GD power source, and we're going to let this finish. And then we're going to look at our consumption statistics. That's the most reliable way to look at this. Um, so we've built a rocket, no prod modules. Um, the prod modules, by the way, do not work on the satellite. It's not like you get a free satellite or something um, or anything like that. So that's just worth noting. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so this is finished. And if we pull up our production with P and we look under, say, last 10 minutes just to be safe, and we look under consumption, you can see we've consumed exactly a thousand of all these parts. And that's a lot. That's expensive, you know, especially if your base isn't super huge, you're new to the game, it's your first time doing a rocket. This is pretty expensive. A uh, thousand rocket fuel, a thousand rocket control units, and a thousand low density structures. And it's a thousand because each one of these rocket parts takes ten, and you need a hundred rocket parts. Um, if we if we pull this up again, you'll see that we produced a hundred rocket parts. Hundred times ten is a thousand of each. So that's a lot. 
without productivity. Okay, um, so there's that. And then you know you would launch a rocket and, and you'd be good there. Uh, now if we go into um, this other save, so if we go into this save, I have put prod modules in this silo. And you can see here this little purple bar. So every time this progresses, this purple bar is progressing. And when this hits the end, this is giving us an extra product. So every time this purple bar or pink um, hits the end here, we get an extra rocket part um, for free. Th this is taking no materials because it's progressing as the main one progresses, right? Um, so we put this in here. And again, I speed beacon this. I highly recommend speed beaconing this unless you just got time to kill because this is going to slow the machine down. Um, by 60%, uh, it's going to be very, very slow, and it's already a slow recipe. Um, well, fairly slow anyway. So there we go. This is finished. We've made a rocket. Now to compare, if we look at our consumption in the last 10 minutes, look at the difference. We've only consumed, to make, again, 100 rocket parts in a rocket, we've only consumed 720 rocket control units, rocket fuel, and low-density structures. Um, I think this is rounding. I believe the number is technically like 715 or something. Um, although, because it, it consumes them in tens, um, and, and then we've like inserted just extra, I, I think um, it's not exactly 720. It might be, even if it is, um, these are the hard numbers that were being shown in our consumption. And this is significant, guys. This is 280 less of each of these materials that you're consuming um, to make a rocket and, and this obviously if you you know you keep this in here this works for every rocket if you're if you're launching multiple rockets then the next one will be cheaper and the next one you know, I mean will be the same price but it'll be cheaper than without using them um, you know I know pod 3 modules are expensive to make but for just the cost of four of them you're definitely saving more materials um, by having to produce 280 less of each of these okay so I just wanted to show this off, you know, let you know that this is a thing and show you, you know, in practice, like with an example, how much this can affect things. Um, and this is huge. This is this is really, really huge, you know. And, you know, of course, materials go into the beacons and the speed modules. These are not required. It's just, uh, you know, without these, it's going to take a very long time to make the rocket. But if you just have a ton of time, um, then, you know, it really isn't an issue. And you can just not even bother with the beacons and speed modules. Um, so there you go, guys. Hopefully that's helpful. If you didn't realize you could do this, um, then you know now you know, and and hopefully this will this will help you. If you haven't launched a rocket yet, or you have and you want to launch more, um, this is you know very very beneficial to be putting these in here. Uh, like I said, I would recommend level threes. You can do any of these. I have sometimes put level ones or twos in here if I just simply cannot afford level threes at the time and it will help obviously um, but it is quite significantly less because level ones are four percent per module and these are six percent opposed to the ten percent here um, so it is quite a big jump but still worth it regardless of what level of prod module you put in there and there you go guys that's going to do it i hope you found this helpful if you did a like is much appreciated if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe to keep up with all the content and if you have any questions and thoughts leave them down below in the comments and uh until next time i look forward to seeing you all and do take care